All right. Um, first, I'm going to address the peanut gallery, and then I will address Zay. But I need to get explanations out of the way for the rest of you who aren't paying attention. So, Zay released another short clip from his pigeon video a couple of days ago on Monday, the 24th. This is now the fourth short clip that he's released from the same pigeon video. So you have pigeon video dating there. You have pigeon love down here on the right. You have pigeons are not mindless peckers below that one. And then you have Tinder for Pigeons down here bottom in the center, center bottom. Three of the four are about dating, love, relationships. Now, I will show you guys again. The pigeon video, so the pigeon is not only a symbol, the pigeon and or the dove, it's the same animal. It's not only a symbol for the Holy Spirit, but in this context, in the context of myself, um, trying to call out Zay Frank uh, on my YouTube channel and expose him and say, telling everybody that I believe that he's part of a cult that engages in incest. In that context, the pigeon is meant to represent me. Why? Well, <clears throat> here's my WordPress blog. It is called Celebrity Reigns List. Right here, May 7th. We're all just children hurting each other, forgiving Zay Frank for being a dick. I released this on May 7th of this year, 2024. In this blog post, I am referring to myself as Inanna or Ishtar. I'm likening myself to her or her trials and tribulations. There's a story of this Babylonian goddess who goes into the underworld and comes out um, much wiser for it. Now the symbol for Inanna and, and or Ishtar is the dove or the pigeon. Again, they're interchangeable. It is the same animal. Using a pigeon is the, just as good as using a dove. <clears throat> it, so again, you, feel free to go on my uh, blog and read through this short blog post. You can see pretty clearly that I am sort of likening myself to Inanna or Ishtar and therefore, by extension, using you could use the uh, dove or the pigeon to symbolize myself as well. I also wrap up this particular blog post um, with <clears throat> a little bit of a message to Zay, which I'm sure he did not appreciate. Um, essentially saying, how can it get any lower than raping your own children? Raping your grandchildren, I guess. That's lower, isn't it? Redemption through sin. When does the sin end and the redemption begin? It can always be worse, Zay. It can always go lower, fall farther. It can always become your father. And then here's a picture of his family. I blocked out their faces. This is easily easy to find online. It's on his father's Nobel Prize page. <clears throat> the reference to redemption through sin, that's a reference to the philosophies and ideals behind the Frankist movement. I suggest you guys look into the Frankist movement. It's quite an interesting read. Uh, that was a cult. It still is a cult. They are still operating. They're just more a bit more hidden and underground. All right? The, the Rothschild banking dynasty married into the Frankist movement, guys. And the Frankist movement had no small part in playing a role in the birth of you know, the United States of America. If you really do your research, you'll find that is the case. So, yeah, they're all over America, the, the Frankists, the high-ranking fr uh, Frankists. And they marry amongst themselves. Um, and they commit incest and child abuse and so on and so forth. And I suspect Zay Frank and his family of being a, a member of their, their family is a, um, a branch of the Frankist movement. Frank, Frankist movement. It was based out of Frankfurt, Germany. His father, Zay Frank's father, Johim Frank, is from Sagan, I don't know how you pronounce it, Sagan, Sagan, Germany. 
which is roughly oh, about an hour, uh, hour, hour and a half drive or so from Frankfurt. It's probably roughly the distance from Philadelphia to New York City. It's between an hour and two hours, depending on traffic and how fast you drive. All right. <clears throat> so I released, let's just look at some dates, guys. Let's look at some dates. Again, I released this particular blog post on May 7th, 2024. When did he release his pigeon video? Let's have a look. Videos, pigeon video. Why did Amazon send me $20,000? Thank you. He released his pigeon video only nine days later on May 16th, 2024. So again, I released a blog post likening myself to a goddess whose symbol is the pigeon or the dove and sort of saying some harsh words to Zay Frank. And then he releases this video about pigeons only nine days later on May 16th, 2024. What a coincidence. Now, let's look at another coincidence really quickly. This is, it's just, I'm just gonna give you two of many. Two of many, but these are very glaring ones. So this one I just mentioned. And then now let's have a look at one of the very first videos I ever released on my YouTube channel about Zay Frank. One of the very first ones. This would have been in September 2022. So I'll have to sp scroll back a little bit. Bear with me. We'll get there. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost, almost there. So close. There it is. Th these two videos right here in the center. The Western Cult, the first email to Zay Frank. There's two of them right there. One on the bottom, you can see. <clears throat> um, I'll, push, I'll push it down to the very bottom there. You can see my face, I'm wearing a red jacket, but then the one on top of that is the actual email. So first of all, in the one where you can see my face, it's got 430 views, three likes. Um, in that one, I released them back to back, same day, same night. In the one where you can see my face, I basically call him an, a dumb asshole. I'm sure he didn't like that. <clears throat> But then in this one above it, where you can see the email, let's pause it. I'm not gonna play the video for you. Please go watch it for yourself. Or you can just uh, trust me when I tell you. In this video, um, I basically say that I've already been researching Zay Frank for over a year at this point, as, as of the re release of this video. And that I'd already seen his face and heard his voice so many times that I thought that if I ever had to meet him in real life, I would probably spew chunks all over his face. That's what I said. I basically said I would throw up all over him if I ever had to meet him in real life. <clears throat> now let's have a look. When did I release this specifically? September 29th, 2022. Almost two years ago. We're going on two years now. September 29th, 2022. Now, let's have a look at the, le the next video he released after I released this one. Just keep that date in the back of your mind though, September 29th, 2022. When was his next video after I released this one saying I would spew chunks all over his face? Hmm. I can already tell you, but I'm just gonna show you. Videos, say Frank videos. He released, following my video, saying I'd throw up on him, he released this video, True Facts About um, the Sea yeah. Cucumber. Again, I'm not gonna play the video for you guys. Please, go do some of this, some, at least some of the research for yourselves. Watch the video yourself and pay attention. You don't even have to watch that far into it. It's one of the very first scenes in this video about sea cucumbers. And one of the very first scenes he shows sea cucumbers spewing chunks all over each other. Specifically, they're spewing ejaculate all over each other because that's how they mate. That's how they make babies. 
and they spew ejaculate, ejaculate all over each other. While he is showing that clip, he's narrating over top of it, and essentially, I'm going to roughly quote him here, he essentially says something along the lines of, that's okay, we don't have to meet in person, we can just do this from afar like introverts. So essentially saying we can just flirt um, from a distance online like introverts. Let's see, again, so let's, let me show you when he released this. Oh, October 7th, 2022. When did I release my video saying I would throw up on him if I ever, if I ever had to see him in real life? September 29th, 2022. Is that nine days later? Roughly. It's about nine days. Isn't it? Hmm? Wow. What a coincidence, guys. What a coincidence. Let's just double check. I've always been, I've always been a little eh on like how many days are in a month. I can never remember that. Um, let's see the year. How many days are in September? Yeah, 30. I released mine on the 29th, so 29, 30. And then one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He released his on October 7th. That's nine days, guys. Exactly nine days later. <clears throat> what are the odds? What a coincidence. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. So many coincidences. <sighs> and there, there are way more than just these two. I'm just pointing out these two to you guys, all right? just to get the explanations out of the way before I address Zay. All right? So there's that for the peanut gallery so that you can understand why I think his little pigeon short video here is for me. All right? Uh, pigeon video dating. Zay, it does not feel like dating. It doesn't feel like dating to me. It feels like you're fucking with me. That's what it feels like. It feels like you're trying to make me spin in circles and lose my mind. I think that's the point now. I don't think you're trying to give me explanations. Um, I've, you know, I've given you every, I've extended every, uh, uh, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, decent explanation for you in my mind, you know? Maybe he's sworn to silence because of his little cult and he can't tell me outright, so he's trying to explain himself in symbols. Uh, there comes a point where it's like, okay, Alfalfa, Darla's getting sick of the shit. You know, your little boys club can go suck a dick. If that's the case, if that's really the case, you want to tell me the truth, but you can't because you're sworn to secrecy. Um, I can't. I can't do this with you anymore. I just can't do this with you anymore. There should be some way for you to be able to be a brave man and sit down and have a face-to-face -face conversation with me, or a FaceTime conversation with me or just an email, or a phone call, something with straightforward, easy to understand words. I, I don't have all the time in the world to sit around trying to decode your little symbol videos. I just don't. I have other things I need to think about. I, and I'm starting to think that a big part of the point of this is you're trying to run out the clock on my fertility. Because you know, I think it's not a secret at this point, for anyone paying attention to my videos, that all I want in the whole world, all I've ever wanted, is a family. To be a wife and have a husband and have like a couple kids. And a good little life, a good little house. That's it. I don't think that's too much to ask. And I think that I am throwing it away, trying to play, do this dance with you. And I'm getting tired of the dance. I really am. And honestly, if, if it really is flirting, you're not worth it at this point because I deserve someone who's brave. You're not brave. You're not being brave. You're being a coward. And I deserve someone who wants what's best for me. 
and it's not what's best for me for you to gaslight me as if you're my mother or just, you know, this is how narcissists treat their victims. You're gaslighting me. You're not giving me straight answers. You're giving me riddles. So you clearly don't want what's best for me. And I'm starting to think that perhaps I need to focus more on other suspects. You know, it, it seemed like I should just focus on you for the most part. You were the first suspect that I identified. And it's hard to spread yourself thin looking at too many people. And so I tried to just focus like one at a time on you and your family. But maybe I need to move on for a, a good long while at least. Um, and, and also maybe just focus on getting my, finding myself a good man, a decent man to be my husband and have some babies. And I can circle back around to investigating you and exposing you later. I wanted for me to, I wanted to be wrong about this. You know, I wanted for you to give me some real explanations that I could, that I could believe. And you're just not doing that. You're behaving like someone who's guilty. Um, so yeah, I think maybe I need to move on to, you know, Vampire Weekend, I've been promising to make videos about Chris Thompson, dude I went to school with, who's definitely a part of this cult, and his, his bandmates, uh, Ezra Koenig, they're doing a series of concerts uh, now, recently. So maybe it's a good time for me to start focusing on showing everybody, you know, how their symbols, the symbols of, in, on their album covers and such, also re relate to the belief system in your cult. <clears throat> I really just can't. I just can't do this with you anymore. I deserve better than this. I deserve clear, concise, easy to understand answers. Um, I deserve um, uh, I deserve to deal with people who are brave enough to give me clear, concise, easy to understand answers. Riddles are how guilty people play this game, right? Innocent people come right out with the truth. The truth just flows easily out of innocent people. Guilty people play games. You're playing games. And you do not want what's best for me. So again, like and you're, you're miswording everything. If this is not flirting, this is not video dating. This is you fucking with me. If you're really trying to flirt with me or date me or whatever, um, you need to try some other. You need to try some other methods, dude. You need to try some other methods. This is not enough for me. All right, so. And I've also considered, yeah, maybe you're saying that like uh, our, our words and explanations are getting crossed, like we're not quite understanding each other. Again, all the more reason why these videos, this video communication is not working and we need to try a different method like face-to-face -face conversation, all right? Um, but again, why do I get the feeling you're too much of a coward to ever attempt that? It should not be hard for you to get a flight down to Florida, Mr. Millionaire. Um, and or again, there's FaceTime. There's all kinds of options, all kinds of options where we can actually have a real conversation. Hey, hi, hi, Zay. Hey, Kat. So you want to give me some explanations? Okay. Yeah, Kat, you deserve some explanations. Here you go. Da, 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 da. It's, I'm tired of these fucking animal video. I'm tired of this nonsense. I have too much on my plate. I have too much to do. I don't know why you think you're more important than my cats. I don't know why you think you're more important than me having a family and a partner. I don't know why you think you're more important than all that. You clearly do, though. So think on it. I suggest uh, your next video, whatever you release, you make that with a lot of care because it will probably be the last one I look at, at least for a good long time, because I'm getting fed up. All right, so goodbye. <laughs>